Russia's media regulator will check the output of BBC World News and BBC websites in what the Kremlin calls a response to the United Kingdom regulator Ofcom. On Thursday, Ofcom ruled that Russian state broadcaster RT had broken TV impartiality rules in seven programs. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said many questions had arisen about the BBC's coverage of Russia. A BBC spokesperson said BBC News in Russia was fully compliant with the country's laws and regulations. Earlier, Afcon found that RT, formerly known as Russia Today, had breached impartiality rules over six weeks between 17 March and 26 April. Afcon was especially critical of RT's coverage of the nerve agent attack in Salisbury on former Russian spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter. The United Kingdom government and its Western allies blamed the Russian government for the attack. According to Mr. Peskov, for a long time questions have accumulated about biased coverage of events by BBC News. But, he went on, no individual has the right to accuse the company only the legally. Empowered regulator can do that. He said the questions concerned BBC coverage of events in Russia and in Syria, where the Russian military is backing President Bashar al-Assad's forces. On Facebook, Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova said monitoring of the BBC by Roscom Lizer, the Russian state regulator, was long overdue. She accused the United Kingdom government of crude interference in the activities of Russian media, constant propaganda against the RTTV channel, attempts to discredit our journalists, etc. That interference, she said, leaves no other choice but a mere response. She added, Russia has given warnings, repeatedly, commenting on the Rose decision. The BBC spokesperson said, as everywhere else in the world, the BBC works in Russia in full compliance with the country's laws and regulations to deliver independent news and information to its audiences. Two Scandinavian women tourists have been found dead in Morocco with cuts to their necks, the country's interior ministry said. Both bodies were found near the town of Imleo in the High Atlas mountain range, near the foot of North Africa's highest peak, Mount Tepco. The women, from Denmark and Norway respectively, have not yet been named. A police investigation has been launched into their deaths, the interior ministry statement said. A popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Hu Awa's chief finance officer, Man Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan province said it would waive the $9.65 yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Hu Awa phone. Miss Man, who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones, shoot grand photos on the mountain, a notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, We wish friends around the world, who support Huawei's success and bliss. The offer would last until 29 December, the South China Morning Post reported. But it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Who are way full owners are being offered other enticements to be can get a 20% discount at a border in Beijing. Seen in Beijing, bring a who are way full and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday HTTPS. T. QXL19YPQLPIC. Twitter. Com Soccer Love. End of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G. At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpad Shenzhen, based Lab and Display Manufacturer offered 
subsidies to any employees buying who are phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors alleged misman. 四十六 used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions earlier on between 2000 and May on 2014. They also alleged she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a separate company from Huawei. And that she deceived banks about the true relationship between the two companies. Miss Man, who is the daughter of Hu Awei's founder, has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of Hu Awei's high-flying heiress. The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second-largest smartphone maker, since 2016. Believing that it used Skycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions, Miss Man's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade dispute between Washington and Beijing. China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences. Unless Canada releases the executive, since her arrest, two Canadians, a former diplomat and a businessman, have been detained in China on suspicion of harming national security. United States President Donald Trump said last week that he might intervene in the United States Justice Department's case against this man if it would serve national security interests. I'll help achieve a trade deal with China if I think it's good for what will be certainly the largest trade deal ever made, which is a very important thing. What's good for national security? I would certainly intervene if I thought it was necessary. He told Reuters news agency. Canada reacted by urging Mr. Trump not to politicize the situation. Our extradition partners should not seek to politicize the extradition. Process. I use it for ends other than the pursuit of justice. Foreign Minister Christie of Finland said a popular tourist attraction has become the latest Chinese company to show solidarity with Hu Awa's chief finance officer Man Wanzhou, who was arrested in Canada on 1 December. Shannon Mountain Scenic Park in eastern Hainan Province said it would waive the nine dollars. Fought it. 65 yuan ticket fee for anyone carrying a Huawei phone. Miss Man, who was given bail in Canada, faces extradition to the United States on charges of breaking Iran sanctions. Her case has up tensions with China. Use Huawei phones, shoot grand photos on the mountain. A notice on the Shannon Park's social media account said, "We wish friends around the world." Who's part who away success and bliss? The offer would last until 29 December. The South China Morning Post reported that it was met with some criticism among China's social media users, who claimed it was discriminatory. Who away phone owners are being offered other enticements to? They can get a 20% discount at a bar in Beijing. Seen in Beijing. Bring a Huawei phone and get 20% off. Similar to this story we covered yesterday. HTTPS T C O Q U X L 19 Y P Q L P I C Twitter com soccer love end of Twitter post by Atlu Ocean G. At least one firm has threatened to penalize anyone buying Apple products. A few days ago, Manpower Shenzhen, based lead and display manufacturer, offered. Subsidies to any employees buying Huawei phones. It also pledged to fine anyone who bought an Apple iPhone. United States prosecutors alleged misman. 46. Used the Huawei subsidiary called Skycom to evade sanctions earlier on between 2000 and May on 2014. They also alleged she publicly misrepresented Skycom as being a Separate company from Huawei, and that she deceived banks about the true relationship 
between the two companies. Miss Man, who is the daughter of who are Wells founder, has denied any wrongdoing and said she will contest the allegations. Life of who are wise high flying errors. The United States has been investigating the Chinese telecoms giant, the world's second largest smartphone maker, since 2016, believing that it used the Spycom to bring United States manufacturing equipment and millions of dollars in transactions to Iran in violation of sanctions. Miss Man's detention comes amid an increasingly acrimonious trade. Dispute between Washington and Beijing. China is angry at her detention, saying she has not violated any laws. Beijing has threatened severe consequences unless Canada releases the executive since her arrest.